Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. I thought I'd vlog tonight because we are doing some errands and we're gonna go to Zilker Park. We're gonna take Sophie, her first time at Zilker Park and I'm actually interested if she'll play ball at the park because sometimes when she goes to the park, she like doesn't like to fetch. I don't know why. We just had tacos and we honestly eat kind of early because right when Ryan gets home, he's always hungry. So we eat kind of early. You. <laughs> But um, before we go to Zilker Park, I want to go into like Ross, not Ross, TJ Maxx, I think. Um, and hopefully there's a Home Goods around there. See what's up because I need an outfit for tomorrow. Kind of more professional outfit. So I don't really have anything. Um, I mean, I probably have like one dress that I could pass, but might as well buy something new and feel confident in it. So hopefully we can take Sophie in. I'm not really sure about that, but I packed all my bags up for Zilker Park. I'm that gal that always needs to be prepared. So we have like a blanket, a little bag thingy, like a sitting bag thing, water bottles, food, sweatshirt, all the stuff. So let's go. Just got to the shopping center. Um, I wanted to quickly check out Charming Charlie's because they are closing all their stores and they have a big sale going on. And I had a $50 gift card and I can't find it now. That always happens. Like. The one time you want to use that freaking gift card that you've had for years, it's nowhere to be found. And I swear I saw it like during this move somewhere around here, but I wanted to use it online actually, and they're not taking online purchases. So um, I'm coming to the store and going to check it out for myself. And there's DSW over here and a lot of other good stores. So I've been wanting a tray for a coffee table and I just came upon these cool trays. I think they're like $30 so I don't know if I have the money right now but once I get a job I'm coming back here representing. It's not very Indian but <laughs> yeah I don't know about this. Do you like home goods Sophie? So we went to Nordstrom and I got a dress for tomorrow, but now we're at Silver Park and Sophie's making friends. <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> Friday and we are in downtown Austin. We're gonna shop for a hat for her and then we're gonna go visit the Texas Capitol. We've not been there yet. And so That's we're huge. trying to explore everything Texas has to offer, Austin has to offer. All before I start working. Yeah, <laughs> and me too. <laughs> this is a men's hat, but I can't even tell the difference. Can you? <laughs> I mean like slightly. I think Ryan needs to come shop here. There's so many cute boy shirts. Do you like this one or like the other one? I think I like the other one. Or neither. Or neither. Yeah. <laughs> so we are gonna bird to the freaking capital. So Austin. It's the capital. We did it. Taylor. <laughs> yes, we did it. Oh my god. We were like riding on the sidewalk, which was probably not the smartest idea because it was like so bumpy. This is not like a smooth road, it's like brick all over. So my head was like literally bobbing up and down and I think I have like brain damage, but all good. Let's go to the capital. Home. We saw the Capitol. I'm not a big history girl, but I mean it was really cool just seeing everything It's massive and compared to the White House. I feel like it's so much bigger. It's crazy But Ryan came home early and he got some packages I think I put this in a past vlog because I think you were like ordering them, right? And he actually ordered it off of the real real yeah. and this is not sponsored, but I thought it was really cool because 
a lot of other influencers are sponsored by them, so, you know, this way you get like a little organic review. What do you think? I might get these resold. I don't like the rubber. And I want the leather to be nicer here. Oh. What happened there? I'm too old. Oh. I think I walk on this. Uh oh, okay. Gotcha. So that's not bad though. They're pretty good condition. Yay. Show the other ones. Those are really cute. Those are like winter winter shoes, I feel like. I'm gonna try these on. This might not fit on my right foot, but if it's a lot bigger than my left foot. That's yeah. weird. Are you kidding? Yeah. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's so weird. So it is the weekend and the most exciting thing about the weekend for me is trying new food places around Austin because I have so many places bookmarked on Yelp and saved on my Instagram like Pinterest feed kind of thing. And so we wanted to go to the Jade restaurant. I think it's that's what it's called. No, but I'm saying that we should definitely go on Sunday because I think that their brunch or like lunch menu on Sunday is literally half the price and the dim sum is so much cheaper i feel like we should go on sunday and i feel like that's more of a sunday thing like growing up i used to go to the canton house in atlanta with my whole family we would like go ham on some dim sum on sundays and i feel like that's like a thing maybe not maybe it was just for my family but anyways i feel like that's like a sunday thing I also got these in Nordstrom. Oh my god, he literally is buying shoes left and right, but oh, like yeah. he is a working boy. What? Ew, what is Sophie's that? Hair? Sophie doesn't shed. Ew, what Sophie's is that? Hair. Sophie's hair. Babe, that is not Sophie's hair. She does not shed. Sophie, are you having hair loss problems? These are Fry shoes. F-R-Y-E. They make boots. Really famous like leather boots. Yeah. They're orange inside. It's legit. Paid like $48 for these. And they're, they're usually original. 265 I think. And so, he got like a, a quarter zip. For four bucks. Yeah. Like, why doesn't Nordstrom have all these sales for girls? Let me know. But I got a really cute dress yesterday. I'll put it in here for something special I did this morning. But I don't want to jinx it, so I'll just put a picture here and leave it to y'all's imagination. And maybe I can talk about it one day if something happens, but I don't want to jinx myself. Um, Sophie, where are you whining? <laughs> she can literally smell a ball anywhere. Like, she knows it's there. And right when she actually got to this apartment, I had a couple of her toys here because we already knew she was coming here. So my mom sent them with me um, when I was on the drive up here. So they were in my pantry and the pantry was like open one day. And she literally was just like crawling at the pantry and like whining and like everything. And I was like, what the heck does she want? Like what's in there? It was a freaking ball. And at my grandma's house, there was literally like a random ass tennis ball in like this basket of hers near her living room. And Sophie's never even played with it before, but she smelled it and I was like, ah, oh, this dog always wants to play. Honestly, I feel like once she gets old, like I'm gonna, miss the days when she wants to play because sometimes when she gets like sad and like doesn't want to play all the time it makes me just sad to think that she's like getting old but like i don't know she's only six years old that's not that old ryan's finally done training at oracle he's actually in the job now so my training was a month long and it's like classroom style mm -hmm. so that kind of like sucked it's like college all over again I, so but I feel like you liked college i liked it for four years <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I paid to, yeah, I paid to do it, it's not that bad. Yeah. But now I'm actually upstairs, and we actually, like, you know, have, like, little perks of that, so you can, like, go to the bathroom when you want. <laughs> if you want to take lunch 30 minutes early, come back 30 minutes early. Oh, that's cool. I convinced Ryan to go to sushi, so we are at Kome Sushi. I don't know where we are, but we drove kind of far, but hopefully it's good. So we ate sushi and it was really good. Honestly, it's probably my favorite out of all the places we tried. He has something different to say, but I think all of the rolls were really, really good. Like usually, I, I well, we went to RA Raw. We went to Sushi Jinai or whatever. We ate that gross place. What was it called? I can't remember. 
I don't even remember what it looked like or anything. Right now we are at Lady Bird Lake because there is like this exit on our way home and it has like a little brown sign and it says Lady Bird Lake and it's like literally just an exit off the highway. And I've always wanted to come down here because I knew it was like under the bridge because um, I think we paddle boarded by here before. So we are here going to watch the sunset. There are some like cruise little things passing by. What is this called? They're probably the ones that are, they're probably the ones that are trying to see the bats and stuff. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Morning guys, happy Sunday, it is the 28th. We are starting our Sunday off by going to dim sum. I'm not really sure what else we have planned today, but I thought I would just take out my camera and vlog and see where it goes. I tried to start a weekend in my life, but it didn't really go too well because yesterday we actually went rafting or tubing on the San Marcos River and we didn't have like our GoPros charged up, so I couldn't get footage of that and I ended up leaving my phone in the car, so I was like, you know what? F it, I'm not gonna vlog this weekend, I'll just vlog on Sunday. Tubing was fun, but it was very different than what I've experienced before because we went to Helen to tube in Georgia and it was kind of more family friendly there and honestly the rapids were way better and it was way faster and there were not as many people as there was in the San Marcos River. And I feel like the tubing here is more like a party scene. Like literally people would stop in the shallow ends and just like stay there and party and drink and like listen to music and stuff. I feel like that's really cool and it looks super fun um, if you have a big group. But like I feel like I wasn't in the state of mind to be around all that if that makes sense. I thought it was just going to be like kind of like a fun family friendly like chillin Sunday or Saturday kind of thing. Um, but yeah it was kind of just like annoying because they were like all like really really obnoxious. <laughs> but now we know that it's it's like that you know so I guess we can like kind of like prepare ourselves if we ever go again. I also totally forgot that we probably need to go grocery shopping and get our dinners together. Um, usually I like to like go on Pinterest on Sundays and like find out what I'm gonna make throughout the whole week. Usually we do like dinner in uh, Monday through Thursday and eat out like on the weekends. So it's really hard like you always think that there's so many like recipes on Pinterest but not all of them are super easy or super healthy. So it's really hard like narrowing it down and then like every week when I do it I'm just like okay I already saw that I made it or I didn't want to make it. I feel like I definitely need a different source of recipes so if you guys have any recommendations on like really easy recipes and like where to find them let me know comment that because I am struggling right now I'm like in the process of like learning how to cook and sometimes I take the easy way out, like if it's bacon, um, I made pasta carbonara and usually we just like fry it in a pan, but I baked it because Ryan wasn't there and I was just like really scared of like the oil like popping out on me. So, you know, stuff like that, I just kind of like want to do it the easier way. But I think we're ready to leave, so I'll update y'all later. I saw a lot of nice houses, I saw the 360 bridge. Oh yeah. I saw a Ferrari. I didn't, I didn't realize that the 360 bridge was this far out. Right there. This is like 20, 30 minutes away from South Austin, and there's Jade Restaurant. What? East Austin, not South Austin. Uh, South Austin's like past some founders. Okay, East Austin then. Yeah. This is so far not so good. We haven't gotten the food, but the service oh. fucking sucks. So we weren't super impressed with the restaurant, especially not the service. Like, I don't know what happened, but they literally were so understaffed. Whenever the hosts get all frazzled, it makes me really frazzled. It just was not the vibe. But Ryan tried dim sum for the first time. What'd you think? It's okay. <laughs> I feel like I was expecting it to be more flavorful. It just kind of was like, mm, like mm, Gotcha, yeah. Um, but since we are near the Overlook Bridge, or 360 Overlook, we thought we would drive under the bridge. That's so cool. Oh my god. I want to get a really fast boat and do that. I play golf there. No, I want a boat. Look at those houses up there. 
No, I want a boat. <laughs> this is the bridge. Right there you can see the 360 overlook. There's like a bunch of people up there taking photos and stuff. These like rocks are super cool. There's this whole rock wall over here. So we exited the highway because they have a super cool view. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the city right there. There's so many really cool houses up on the hills over here. There's a really modern one over there. Yeah, they're just like all so different. By the bridge, there's like- Spanish style, like, you know, normal modern glass houses up there. So it is a lot later now. We had our Sunday nap and I love the weekends because I don't feel guilty taking a nap. And as y'all know, this girl's unemployed still. So I feel super freaking guilty during the week because I don't have a job and I feel like I shouldn't be sleeping. But also other people would say like, okay, now is the time that you should be able to do that sleep in, take a nap, do whatever you want because you're not employed. But I don't know, I just don't see it like that. Like I feel really, really just guilty when Ryan's at work working his butt off and I'm just home sleeping. So I'm glad I can kind of catch up on my sleep during the weekend. Ryan actually just came back from golfing and I thought I would like paint my nails while he was away. So I did this brown color. It's from butter london i think and i really liked it like it was really easy to paint my nails surprisingly um so hopefully it stays on a while my nails looked so horrible but i did want to share with you guys a really cool thing that i bought on amazon so i don't know what kind of computer y'all have but if you guys have the touch bar mac laptop listen up because this might be a game changer for y'all first of all the color that i painted my nails is caramel cafe from butter london just so you guys know. Um, but next, I want to show you guys something that will change your life. So this is a dongle. And if you guys know, like the Touch Bar Mac laptops, you have to have this USB-C connector that adapts like anything else. They don't have USB ports in their computers anymore. So you have to get this adapter. So this adapter is the best one I have found. Every other one that I've ever tried, which I've definitely tried a lot, sucks. This one sucks because it pulls out so easily. I don't know why, but it actually has like a couple of ports, has like all of them in one, which is, you know, you would think would be convenient, but it pulls out so easily. So if you have your hard drive attached to this, you literally can move your laptop not even like a centimeter and it says it's disconnected and then it can damage your project, which is horrible. So, I highly, highly recommend this dongle right here because it's really, it gets really in there. Like, I don't know why and how, but because it's so small, I feel like it doesn't really tear out as easy. Um, so I'm gonna link these down below because literally they have helped me so much and I know that the biggest issue with these freaking laptops is the USB-C adapter things, like, because you have to like buy so many other dongles. Um, so I'm gonna link this down below for you guys and it will change your life, I promise. So I hate that all my vlogs are literally me just eating because it makes me look like such a fat ass, but we're gonna get dinner now. It is 7.20, is it 7.20 for real? I literally thought it was six. But yeah, we're gonna probably get some tacos, maybe Torchy's tacos. I only had it once and it was definitely super good the first time. So I think we're gonna get it tonight. I'm gonna wait till you know the lyrics. Your band is natural. This is okay, Ryan's favorite song. I love this song. We made it to South Congress. 